Hello listener Today we are going to discuss one more method of measuring dispersion In our previous videos we have discussed about range cotal deviation Today we are going to discuss about mean deviation Mean deviation is also called as average deviation Mean deviation is also called as average deviation the mean deviation is the arithmetic average that is by using your mean median and mode taking all deviation as positive we have to take all the deviation as positive okay mean deviation is also referred as average deviation the mean deviation is the arithmetic average mean median mode taking all deviation as possible today we are going to discuss average deviation using mean method how to calculate average deviation using mean method okay what are the step to find mean deviation by using your arithmetic mean you should find out an average whatever the values it is given you first you have to find out the average okay by using your mean method or median method after finding the average you have to find out the deviation of each value or size of the atom from the average selected okay you have to select one average from that you have to find out the deviation sign should not be taken into consideration okay if it is plus or minus it will be taken as plus only okay sign should not be taken into account the symbol the symbol for deviation is mod d you are seeing this standing line between this standing line d is there this symbol is called as mod d so after taking the deviation you have to add up the deviation by using your formula what is the formula for mean deviation is summation mod d by n what is your d sum of the deviation by number of the atoms you are dividing your deviation by number of atoms today we are going to discuss how to find mean deviation in individual series okay our problem is to find mean deviation in individual series calculate mean deviation and its coefficient for the following data okay individual series means list of data items will be given you have to find mean deviation what is the formula of mean deviation okay summation mod d by n or what is the formula of coefficient of co f e scient of mean deviation is equal to sigma dx by n okay dx by n so this is the formula for finding mean deviation in individual series let's solve the problem so what your first step okay what is your first step the first step is to find the averages okay okay this is our the problem okay we have to list out all the values of x so how many number of item is 10 what is the value of n is number of item is 10 okay first step is is to find out the arithmetic mean first step is compute compute arithmetic mean so what is the formula of arithmetic mean you can write x bar or arithmetic mean is equal to summation x by n so what is your summation x means sum of the x values so what is the sum of the x values 1 4 40 just substitute in your formula 1 4 40 what is your n n is your number of items what is your n n is number of item is 10 just use your calculator for computing 1440 upon by 
10. So, what value you will get? 0, 0 cancel, you will get as 144. What is your arithmetic mean? X bar is 144. So, after computing arithmetic mean, second step is deviation from X bar. Deviation from X bar. Okay. Next step is, is to find deviation. How you will find deviation? x minus x bar is equal to dx. Okay. You will get deviation. What is your x? This is your x. What is your x bar? That is the arithmetic mean you compute it. So, what is your x? x is 125 minus 144 is equal to minus 19. So, what is your x? 128 minus 144 is equal to minus 16. 132 minus 144 is equal to minus 12. 135 minus 144 is equal to minus 8. 140 minus 144 is equal to minus 4. 148 minus 144 is equal to 4. 155 minus 144 is equal to 11. 157 minus 144 is equal to 30. 159 minus 144 is equal to 15. 161 minus 144 is equal to 17. Then add it. What is your deviation means? You should not consider the sign. Irrespective of any sign, you have to count it. Here you are seeing minus, you are seeing plus, but you are adding all this item. So, what dx value you will get as 120 means you have found got deviation from x bar. Then third step is find mean deviation. What is the formula of mean deviation? Summation dx by n. What is your summation dx is 120. What is your n? n is 10. So, mean deviation is equal to 12. Okay. Mean deviation is equal to 12. Our next step is used to find coefficient. Okay. Coefficient. Coefficient of mean deviation. So, what is the formula of coefficient of mean deviation by x bar? So, what is your mean deviation? 12. What is your x bar? x bar is 144. What is your x bar is 144? x bar is nothing but arithmetic mean. So, use your calculator. 12 divided by 144 you will get as 0 0.088. If you had any doubt regarding any, you can just drop your doubt in the comment box.